so this was kind of a weird one. After a long drive from New Brunswick to Montreal, first thing we did was stop at Sushi Momo and eat another delicious vegan sushi meal. It was insane. I know we already did it last week, but we had to do it one more time. All right, Bren, try and eat it. Vegan sushi taco. That crunch though. <laughs> we spent the night in Montreal afterwards and the next day we went straight to the vegan market. I know we're doing a lot of food things but we don't have this kind of luxury in Chatham so we had to go do it now. While we're back, back in Montreal one year, back. less than a year later or less than a week later. Loving the vegan restaurants, loving the, the young city vibes. It's mm -hmm. pretty fun, man. I like the vegan stuff. It's really big here, which is amazing. Okay, back at the van. Just parked downtown Montreal on the streets, basically. We just did our vegan shopping at the vegan market because you don't get this kind of vegan love in Chatham, Kent, where we're we from. We got vegan dog treats for Zen. Tina's more excited about the what? dog's treats than our treats. She's so happy about them. She loves no, them. No, Tina, looking you're for so more. happy about them. She's looking for more. Do you like your treat? Yeah, I'm gonna open the bag. So we kind of went crystal shopping. And then right afterwards, we went out to dinner again, but this time at Love, which happened to be our favorite Montreal spot from last year's trip to Montreal. We're here at Love eating good food. Sonia, 100% plant based. By this time, we were actually so exhausted, just all the driving, all the traveling, all the just thinking about what to do every day. The whole trip was just a lot at this point. So we spent one last night in Montreal and then in the morning drove straight to Toronto and it was hectic down there. So we didn't really want to stay, we just decided to go eat some good food. We checked out Not Your Mother, pretty amazing vegan dessert place. And then it just so happened to be in the same building as the Vegan Dill Brewery and Doomies, which is where we ate some food. I know it's kind of a weird one. We didn't really film much. I'm telling you, at this point, we were just so tired from all the traveling. We just could not wait to get back to Chatham and to just like park the van and just relax and not have to keep moving. We're back in Chatham now. The next vlog will be about art in the park. And then let us know what you guys want coming up next. I'm thinking about planning some type of van tour. We got to give you guys like a full tour and also finally starting this podcast that I've been talking about for a while. It'd be pretty exciting. Also new music, so many things going on. I gotta get, I gotta buckle down and get down to it because I've got all this, uh, all this passion, all this creativity, all this content, all this, cr whatever you want to call it, all this art within me that I just gotta get it out there and uh, just kind of stop overthinking because I'll tell you, I will sit here and just think sometimes and um, the thinking just does not get you anywhere. I gotta get do more doing, less thinking. Okay, peace. And uh, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Let me know. Blah, 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 blah.